When I take this and I'm gonna load the rope into it, I wanna stand at my anchor. Easiest way till you really get the hang of it is to stand at the anchor and face the load, okay? Hold it in your hand just like this to give it a stable platform and swing the back plate open. I'm gonna grab my rope, lay it over the top of the shiv, and I'm gonna take my thumb and pull it down towards the front plate, okay? And the reason is the rope has to come underneath that shoulder that's on the back side of the shiv right here. <clears throat> that just automatically makes sure that the rope falls into place. I'm gonna bring it all the way over the top of the shiv and then down between this swing brake and the friction post, close it, okay? That's all there is to rigging it. I'm gonna connect it into my anchor. Now the first test that I want to do to this thing is once I connect it to my anchor, I want to grab a hold of the rope and pull on it. And nothing should happen. If rope peels through it, you rigged it backwards. Okay? If so you want to yank on it, make sure that nothing happens. Happen. So nothing happens, we know we're ready to go about taking care of business here. <clears throat> operator, you want to have the operator behind the device, okay? Position of strength, okay? I want to be behind the device because <clears throat> that facilitates my hand position. It makes my life a little bit easier. If I've got a situation, let's say this anchor is connected right here to the wall, or our, our heavy <clears throat> rescue, we had like the Reese hitch rigging plates that you stuck in the side, so you, they stuck out about this much. So if I was gonna use an MPD there, I'd have to kind of figure out a way to get some other friction, okay? And that easier way to get that friction is come back to the anchor point. Connect in, bring the tail of my rope up and through to maintain that S curve on the rope. So if I can't get behind it, I want to throw this in, and now I'm operating the device from here in this configuration as opposed to from behind the device, okay? I don't want to touch that handle until I have this rope in my hand. Okay, I've got to have this rope in my hand before I go there. It requires user interface for the load to go anywhere. Once the device is loaded and it's under tension, it's, the rope can't go anywhere, okay? I want to come in from underneath with an underhand grip, lift up, and rotate my hand 180 degrees so that it's palm down. And I like to use my thumb as an index take some of the strain off the back of your wrist. Because I can adjust this wherever I want to, if I don't like where my hand position is, all I do is go ahead and move it and then put it in position. Okay, it's all gonna come down to rope angle. I need to maintain grip here. If I want more friction, I bring it back down closer to the anchor. If I want less friction, I bring the rope up, but at no point in time should that rope be less than 90 degrees, okay? The fail safe in the system, if it feels like it's getting out of control or the herd of killer bees strike, I let go, okay? Let go of the fail safe is the system stops. Okay, so when it comes time to convert from a lowering system to a raising system, I don't need to set the parking brake. I don't need to do anything with it. So I grab my pulley, and what I like to do is rig close and stretch the system out. It's easier from a housekeeping standpoint. <clears throat> as opposed to walking back and forth. And I've said this many times that I am an inherently lazy person. 
So if I can do everything from right here and stretch it out once, that saves me a whole bunch of trips back and forth, okay? I'm gonna throw my prussic cord on. Put my pulley in. <clears throat> Make sure my carabiner's locked. Go ahead and stretch the system out. <clears throat> so I start to raise and I say to myself, self, you're working too hard. Okay? Broke a sweat. Ew. Not a good day. Okay? Once I let go of this, system locks off. I don't have to worry about it. So if I wanted to convert from a simple three to a simple five, all I'm gonna do is grab this rope, grab this carabiner, hook this back here, connect it up. Grab a bite. Hook my double in. And I can go ahead, <clears throat> rig one side of the shiv, <clears throat> rig the other side. And I'm back on my haul system with a simple five, okay? Simple deal, you guys are all technicians, you all been there, done that, comfortable with it, okay? Uh, questions so far?